Or not. I can stand. Still. Well, let's go. <laughs> let's go do it because we we want everyone to hear what. But you're gonna speak. I'll speak. She, said she, she did not want to speak. It's quite unlike Barbara. Yeah. <laughs> when she was younger, she spoke a lot. <laughs> All right, Mr. City Attorney, I would love for you to read this proclamation at this point. This is a proclamation honoring the 100th birthday of Mrs. Dorothy Engstrom Blum. Whereas Dorothy Engstrom Blum was born on November 23, 1923, to Ruth Barry Engstrom and Harry Oscar Engstrom in Brooklyn, New York. And whereas Dorothy was three and a half years old when Charles Lindbergh flew nonstop across the Atlantic. She was seven years old when Lindbergh's son was kidnapped and remembers the fear that the public felt. She was afraid to go to sleep. In 1940, Dorothy graduated from Columbia High School in Maplewood, New Jersey with honors, lettering in four varsity sports, swimming, basketball, volleyball, and field hockey. Whereas after graduating from high school, Dorothy attended William and Mary in Virginia, but after the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, she returned to New York City and started nursing school at Columbia Presbyterian Medical Center because nurses were needed for the war. And whereas in 1945, World War II ended, and one year later she received her Bachelor of Science and registered nurse degrees from Columbia Presbyterian Med Medical Center, and it was here that she met her husband, Dr. Gaston Eugene Blum, or Jeb, and on no July 20th, 1946, Dorothy and Jeff were married at Madison Avenue Presbyterian Chapel, Chapel in New York City. Whereas in 1957, the Blum family moved to Denver and Dorothy was a school nurse for the Denver public school system while also raising four children. She was highly active in the PTA and the League of Women Voters. In 1984, Dorothy and Jeff moved back to Boston where she was a nurse for the South Shore Medical Center. She was a champion for poor families and assisted them with raising their children. In 1991, after watching a documentary on Romania, she and Jeb traveled to the country volunteering to help handicapped children placed in orphanages. And in 1999, Dorothy and Jeb visited South Africa to learn about the Truth and Reconciliation Commission to apply this method to helping traumatized, abused children in Boston. And whereas in January 2016, Dorothy and Jeb moved to Hoover, Alabama to be closer to their daughter, Barbara. That same year, Jeb passed away. He and Dorothy were married for 69 years. Whereas Dorothy has four children, 10 grandchildren, and 17 great-grandchildren. Dorothy enjoyed a family reunion with 40 family members in Estes Park, Colorado in May of 2021. Whereas Dorothy turned 100 years old on November 23rd, 2023, she continues to believe in liberty, justice, and fairness to all. Now, therefore, we, Mayor Frank B. Burkato and the City Council President, John B. Lida of Hoover, Alabama, and on behalf of the Hoover City Council, do hereby honor and celebrate the life of Mrs. Dorothy Engstrom Blum and wish her a very happy 100th birthday. Life sounds better in print. <laughs> <laughs>